Welcome to Bayside Boat Sales and Buzzers Bay Yacht Sales in beautiful, balmy, and a tad bit breezy Freeport, Maine. I'm Steve Trendholm, and I thought I would welcome you today. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, Bayside Boat Sales right in the center of Freeport's Nautical Mile, as you can see the Route 1, Route 1 right behind me. Um, got a lot of stuff happening up here, but I wanted to give you a little update on, uh, on my white vest issue. Um, you can see I... Uh, I got a gray one on here. My uh, my wife got tired of uh, of uh, washing that white one all the time because every day she'd have to wash it. It was just too awful. I'd come home with dirty and dirt and grease and all that stuff, and just you know, she's getting real tired of it. So anyway, she uh, she found this uh, this gray one for me. So uh, I didn't do real well with the white one. I'm like uh, I'm like 0 for 9. So uh, not real good with the white one. But I'm doing much better with this gray one. As you can see, uh, I got a nice gray boat behind me. Day I put this vest on, this gray vest. Somebody drove right in, screeched on the brakes, jumped out and bought that gray boat. So uh, I think it's because of the gray vest. So uh, as you can see right behind me, I got a, I got another boat right there, a blue one. I'm gonna have to order one of these vests in blue, I think, to sell that blue boat, uh, that dark blue boat right there. And uh, I, got a, I got a light blue one over there behind it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but big center console, 25 foot Steiger. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get a light blue vest to sell that one too. But uh, now all of a sudden I'm a real big customer of these uh, Helly Hansen vests. Also, uh, right behind me you can see uh, that looks like a broken down Porsche to me. Uh, blew in here this afternoon sometime, all kinds of steam coming out of it and everything. And, uh, I was headed right up to Voigt's up the road there. I don't know if you can see up the road there at Auto Works. But, um, I think they'll come down in the morning and just kind of push it up there. They don't, they don't really have to trail them. There's nothing to them. Those European cars, they can just get a couple guys and push it, roll it right up there. But uh, I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll look after it and take good care of it. And uh, hope the guys are uh, getting a line of credit right now to, uh, to fix her up. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty, uh, pretty busy day up here. A lot of people are just heading home. And, uh, Nobody got run over, and I haven't seen any wayward Priuses or Subarus coming in today, so that's a good thing. And I also haven't seen any fire trucks or ambulances go by, so uh, that, that's, a, that's a good thing. They're, uh, they're probably warming up and resting up for tomorrow afternoon, because that's when all the, uh, the people from the wayside heading up here, blowing out, blowing out of Boston and everything, and just, just running hard right up, uh, right up Route 1 and uh, 95, and they just keep getting an accident after accident. So, Anyway, I wanted to, uh, wanted to touch base, say hello, give you an update on my, uh, my gray vest and uh, selling a gray boat. So I uh, better go down and order one of those dark blue to sell that dark blue boat. But, uh, I'm Steve Trenholm. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon from the center of Freeport's Nautical Mile.